soda. We see it everywhere. Sporting events, restaurants, parties, the biggest influencers. This has caused many of us to be addicted. The average American drinks 45 gallons a year, which is 72,000 calories. That's like eating a Big Mac every three days. Many health experts even argue that it's worse than a cigarette, which has led to over 40% of Americans being obese. I've had an on and off relationship with soda. I was addicted in high school and over the last few years. That's why I am 225 pounds, something I am not proud of. And with 2022 coming to a close, I wanted to quit soda in the new year. This is my first third place. Here's my three-step process of achieving these goals. One, survive the first 12 days. I'm currently living in my girlfriend's parents' house and they have a ton of soda here. I finally move into my new house on January 13th where I can control the fridge where there will be zero soda. Two, I'm only gonna be using Celsius for caffeine. It's a much healthier alternative and obviously it isn't soda. I can take a packet on the go when I travel. Three, drink as much water as possible. I already drink a ton of water, but I also have a ton of sodas throughout the day. Water is the best as it is zero calories, unlike soda. So it's day one. We're cooking some dinner over here. It's my steak and uh, cheesy potatoes. But man, I'm exhausted. I, I really want a soda right now. Finished a three mile run, which wasn't much, but it's definitely tiring without having any energy today from probably gonna head to bed a little bit early. A lot of times I go to bed at midnight, but that's because I have a lot of caffeine and can't sleep pretty early on only seven right now. Day seven was definitely the toughest for me. It started with waking up at 4 a.m. to go on a morning run. So we're one mile in. I think we're only gonna do two this morning and honestly it doesn't feel too bad. I'm a night owl so I really hate waking up early and then followed by a really early flight. Now normally when I'm at the airport I'll have a soda but I wanted to switch it out. I even looked at a a lemonade and it was over 200 calories so I elected to go with a water. When I landed in Springfield I got another water and filled it with the Celsius. Spent the day at a sports card show walking around making deals and then went back home but unfortunately my flight kept on getting delayed and this day turned into 22 hours. Really glad to say zero sodas or drink but man it was exhausting. We're officially 10 days through the no soda challenge and I have some good news for you guys. It's only been waters, Gatorades, and also lemonades. No sodas so far. There's been a lot of temptations back at home, plus also on the road. But let's talk about some negatives. One, I've been really tired in the afternoons and how it started to have to take some naps. I guess you can see that's good or bad, but it's time taken away from the day and I feel exhausted then. Also, don't have as much energy when I run. I guess sometimes when I run, I'll have a soda before then, so feel a little bit groggy during those. The other thing as well is I haven't really lost weight so far and it, it's more than just soda. It's really because I've been going out to eat a lot more. We're closing our new house since we didn't get a bunch of groceries, but while I've been eating healthier out there, it's still a lot of calories than rather eating at home. Plus the portion size is a lot. So January 1st, I weighed 224 pounds. I still weigh 224 pounds now. But once I move into my new house and get into a routine of cooking cleaner, the weight will start dropping, plus my mileage for the 100 days of running is going up. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next update. Well, we're about to hit that first milestone, which is moving into the new house. This is my last day here at my girlfriend's parents' house, and I will no longer have the soda in front of my face every single time I open up the fridge. So here I am cleaning out my office, a few hours of work, after already my full-time job, so pretty tired there, but the next day would be even more exhausting. Not only did I have to close on the house, but I had to move everything as well into the new house. Now, unfortunately, I did not drink a Celsius that morning and did not have a great night of sleep just on the anticipation of moving out. So I was really, really tired. And then you factor in all the different items that were moved into the garage and then into the house itself, plus a lot of stress. But regardless, finally moved into the new house and I know we're gonna crush the rest of this challenge. So check it out. Remember last time where there was a bunch of sodas? Well, that is not the case. And the only two that are down there are my girlfriends and she wants to also limit soda right now. Although not cold quitting like I am. So no more distractions of having all the soda within the fridge.
So this soda, it's not mine. It's actually going to my girlfriend. Here you go. Another day, no soda challenge. So it is day 30 and zero sodas this month. I'm really proud because one, I got rid of this really bad habit. And two, I've actually lost some weight this month. So I've lost about between five and six pounds. Weight fluctuates a little bit day after day, but I wanna show you guys how. So look, if I take the average of a soda, which is about 150 calories, right? We're looking at 4,500 to 9,000 in a month. This assumes I drink one to two a day. Sometimes I'll drink more, sometimes I'll drink less. Now, with fat, being 3,500 calories per pound, that is anywhere between one and three pounds that would be lost this month. But since I've been running every single day and I've been eating a little bit cleaner, I've lost about five to six pounds, which is really, really good. And you guys can see the before and after pictures. Now the question may remain, am I gonna drink sodas again? And the answer is no, but there is one stipulation. Sometimes when I was running ultra marathons at some of the later aid stations, they would have some soda. It would help me get through the race a little bit. So I might have a soda then, otherwise I don't wanna have it with the meal. I don't wanna have it around the house. Otherwise I'm gonna be pretty much drinking away empty calories where I could be eating something healthier in that space or losing weight. And I still have 40 pounds that I need to lose this year. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't waste those on sodas. Anyways, next month I'm gonna be waking up at 5 a.m. every single day. That's gonna be really tough for me, but make sure to stay tuned for that video.